Well, tonight, we remember Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, the first woman to serve as a U.S. Supreme Court Justice. O'Connor was on the bench for 25 years. That retired justice died today at the age of 93. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot spoke to two East Tennesseans who remember the justice who made history. Vinay? Robin Brittany, Sandra Day O'Connor was appointed to the Supreme Court by President Reagan in 1981. Since then, the U.S. court system reports the percentage of female judges on the bench has quadrupled. In a courtroom where hers is the only portrait of a woman, Justice Sharon Lee remembers the example. Well, when she was appointed in 1981, I was three years out of law school, and I was used to being the only woman in the courtroom. Justice Sandra Day O'Connor retired from the U.S. Supreme Court in 2005. She was an extraordinary justice, and that, that made it so much better. In 2008, she visited Knoxville for the opening of the Howard Baker Center, a place devoted to finding the middle ground. It's not like what you have now that you feel that some of the judges are appointed have to feel they have to lean toward the political party they're, they're associated with. Harry Moskos is the former editor of the Knoxville News Sentinel. Before working in Knoxville, he wrote stories about the justice. She wrote him a letter. Written on Supreme Court letterhead that says, uh, you do good work. I enjoyed the article. To think that somebody who's that busy and that important takes the time to write a journalist Justice Lee says she saw that same humility when the Supreme Court justice suggested a conga line. I thought, when else am I going to have a chance to dance, you know, in a conga line with a U.S. Supreme Court justice? I don't have any photos of that, however. I wish I did. <laughs> but she has this photo, one with every woman who is a Supreme Court justice in Tennessee, an image of the legacy this justice leaves behind. A great, great group of women. And both of those people we spoke with today say her life was so scrutinized, yet she never made a misstep. They commended Justice O'Connor's professionalism in her decades of public life. Robin, Brittany. Vinay, thank you so much.